Hey all, uh, the practitioner here again. Again, I'm doing my next little magic spiel. Um, this was a trick, which I actually figured out on my own when I saw someone else's levitating card trick. But what's interesting is the fact about this particular trick is that there's actually no gimmicks whatsoever to this. I mean, literally none. It actually takes advantage of a little known scientific principle about your own body. And what's kind of fun is if you can figure out how I do this, this will be really, really cool for you to try to impress your friends with. So call it like a, a magic trick on science education. Now I have a normal deck of cards with me here, and I'm just going to pick completely one at random. Here, um, you know what? I'll just start going through the deck like this. Okay, there we go. First random card I found, this is the one I'll take. Um, it's the Nine of Hearts. I'll do it with another card in the deck afterwards, and I'll do it with a separate deck just to verify for you here. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the card, okay? Again, no, no stick them on this card whatsoever, okay? Like I said, none of that magician's wax type crap, and none of that sort of stick on my hands, okay? This is a completely normal card. Now check this out. I want you to watch the card closely. <sighs> See? All of a sudden, it levitated. Watch. <sighs> focus, focus. <sighs> How the heck did I do it? Like I said, see, no stickum on my hands of any sort. No stickum on the card. Now, I'll do it with another card as well. If you can figure out exactly how I managed to pull this off, good for you. And don't give me any of that sort of stuff about strings or, or magnets or magician's wax or, or stuff like that, okay? This is a very, very basic principle. This is a very, very basic thing. Um, it's so simple, it, it, like I said, it's entirely simple, and I suspect those of you who are critically thinking out there will get this, okay? There's nothing magical or mystical about this. This is a pure little scientific principle. So, uh, let's pick another random card. Say this one here. Uh, this one is the Three of Diamonds. Okay, same out of the thing. Again, no secret uh, magician's wax or any crap like that. Nothing on my hands of any sort. I'm particularly showing my thumbs because... Like I said, I'm trying to show you the scientific principle behind this. Thumbs, hands, nothing. Okay, now check this out. One, two, three. Sorry. Sometimes it stays, sometimes it don't. Just focus, focus, focus. See? See, it's just hovering there. How did I do it? Not telekinesis, and it's not magician's wax, strings, magnets, or any stick on the card. Okay? I want you to think about this. I want you to think about this for a minute, okay? Like I said, none of, that magi none of, the, none of the usual rig techniques, and there's no cellophane tape either. No tape, no glue, no magician's wax, no strings, no magnets. Like I said, none of the traditional stuff that you automatically might think of. But this is a scientific principle, and it's not telekinesis, okay? It's a basic scientific principle. Really, really simple. I want you to think about it, then comment below, okay? I want you to try to figure out how I did this one. If you can manage to figure it out, great. Um, I'm not going... Uh, if you can figure it out, great. And don't again, don't try to use all that usual crap, okay? Um, actually, um, like I said, if you actually have gotten it right, I will message you as to whether or not you got it right, Okay? As for the rest of you, again, uh, if I try to get the usual uh, type of skeptics who will go like, oh, you're just using strings, uh, if I get those guys, like the ones I get sometimes on, uh, like, uh, like, the, uh, like the ones that I've seen sometimes on other people's magic tricks, you know, like the, and, I, and, and you, know who, you, know who, uh, you know who you are, people. Uh, the people I'm talking about are the ones who um, will simply try to debunk a trick regardless of how the, whether it's just a magic trick or not. Um, they're the same type of people who are like the virulent skeptics against Parasyke. All well and good, but sometimes magic tricks are just magic tricks. So anyway, like I said, you know who you are, those type, you know, the ones, and then of course when it's not the real way they do it, they end up, um, well, they end up looking a little bit dumb sometimes, like they don't really try to critically think about it. So try to actually use your brain here, message me, uh, message me below, uh, you know, leave a comment below, and if you got it right, I'll message you. Um, I'm going to leave this up for about five days. At which point I'm actually going to post a video response to um, to this um, of exactly how I did it. Okay, this means you have uh, for people viewing this, you have a five day time period from the uh, date of issue of this to be able to find it. Um, if you're seeing this first, try to figure it out first before going and viewing the video response. 
uh, people who didn't get it uh, when I checked the comments. Um, you're going to kick yourselves and, um, well, yeah, remember, it's not telekinesis. It's not any of the traditional magician stuff. It's a very basic scientific principle. I hope you enjoyed.